Hi everyone and welcome back to First Copy Crochet. In this tutorial we're going to go over how to make the Sophie Infinity Scarf. This is a one row repeat pattern so it's very easy to make. The stitches used in this are the single crochet, half double crochet, and double crochet. And this pattern is in US terms and the scarf is worked and the scarf is worked flat and then the ends are joined together. If you would like to change the length of the scarf you just need to adjust the number of times the repeat row is done. And to change the width, you just need to adjust the number of chains that are in the foundation chain. It just needs to be a multiple of 3 plus 1. The initial chains at the start of each row do not count as a stitch. And the finished size of the scarf is 60 inches around by 7 inches wide. To make this scarf, you'll need 352 yards of a bulky number 5 weight yarn. In this pattern, I did use the new Karen Macchiato Cakes. So if you do use that, you'll only need one skein. You'll also need a 7 millimeter crochet hook. A yarn needle, a pair of scissors, and stitch markers are optional. And as always, there is a written pattern available for this on my website, and you can find that and more scarf patterns at firstthecoffee.com, and I'll leave a link for this down in the description below. So let's go ahead and get started on the scarf. Okay, to start out, you want to create your slip knot, and then we're going to want to chain 25. So once we have our foundation chain, for row one, we're going to be doing single crochet stitches all the way across, and we're going to be working in the back bump here. So if you just turn your chain over, you'll see these little bumps, and we'll be starting in the second chain from the hook, and that's where we're going to be putting our stitches. Okay, so to do a single crochet, you'll just insert your hook, yarn over and pull up a loop, and then yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook. And we're just going to do that in each of these chains all the way across. So at the end of row one, you should have 24 stitches. Now for row two, you're just going to chain one, and turn your work, and this won't count as a stitch, so we'll be starting in this first stitch here. And we're going to be doing a half double crochet in this first stitch. So you'll yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over and pull up a loop, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. And then in this next stitch, we're going to do two single crochets and one double crochet. And that's all in the same stitch. For the double crochet, you just yarn over, insert your hook into the stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop, and you'll yarn over and pull through two loops on your hook, and then yarn over and pull through the remaining two. And then we're going to skip two stitches, and then in that next stitch, we're going to do the same thing, two single crochets and one double crochet. And we're just going to repeat this all the way across, skip two stitches, and then in the following stitch do two single crochet stitches and one double crochet. Skip two again, and then repeat in that third stitch two single crochets and one double crochet. And then once you've done your last cluster of two single crochets and one double crochet. You should have four empty stitches in the row. We're going to skip two of these stitches, and then in the next to the last stitch, we're going to do one single crochet stitch. And then in that last stitch, we're going to do a half double crochet. And then to start the next row, we're just going to chain one, turn our work, and again, this doesn't count as a stitch, so we'll be starting in this first stitch of the row. And we'll do one half double crochet in that stitch. And then in that next stitch, two single crochets and one double crochet. Okay, and then we're going to skip two stitches. And then in that following stitch, the same thing, two single crochets, one double crochet. So this is all you're going to do throughout this pattern, all the way up until row 160. You'll be starting each row with a half double crochet, and then you start your clusters of two single crochets, one double crochet, and skip two stitches. Once you're at the end of the row, you'll have four empty stitches. You skip two of those, 
one single crochet in the next to the last stitch and one half double crochet in the last. So you can go ahead and finish this up through row 160 and I'll meet you back here to join the ends together. Okay, so after you've completed row 160, we're going to start joining the ends of the scarf together. Now you can use whatever method you like to join these ends together. If you want to sew it together using a yarn needle, doing a whip stitch, whatever, it does not matter. For this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do it with a slip stitch so that way you don't have to do any sewing. The only thing you'll need the yarn needle for at that point is just to weave in ends. So to do this, we'll just lay it flat and then we'll bring the beginning row and last row together. And we will line up our first stitch and join those two with a slip stitch. So we'll go back through this first stitch again, just do another slip stitch after our join. And then we're just going to repeat this in each stitch all the way down. As you go through doing this, you're going to find that you have to pull this side down because our beginning chain is always going to be closer together stitch-wise than the end stitches of our last row. But just as you go along, just line up your stitches one by one and do a slip stitch to join. Okay, and after you've done a slip stitch in this last stitch, you can go ahead and fasten off and weave in your ends and enjoy your new infinity scarf.